Let's say a little longer on this development because the minority in parliament says it is dismayed by the energy minister John Peter Meru's assertions that the country has made another significant oil discovery in the deep water K3 points block. According to the minority, the total area has already been discovered by US company Hess Corporation, which sold its stake to Aker. Joining me in the studio for some clarity on what exactly Aka Energy's report means is the CEO of Ghana Oil Drilling Academy and consultancy, Prince Frimpong. Prince, you're welcome to the marketplace. Thank you. Well, so yeah. Prince is also, or has also had a tremendous experience in the national, um, the Norwegian National Oil Company. Am yes, I right? Yes. yes, oh, yes. All right. All right. So what exactly do we mean when we appraise a well and we discover significant, you know, reserves in the well? Uh, uh, thank you very much for your question. Um, to appraise the world means to, to drill into an ex already existing discovery to further understand the extent uh, in terms of volume of, of the discovery. That's an appraiser. So you mm. drill an appraiser to have a further understanding of an already discovered uh, reserve. And, and so in this case, the, the discovery had already been made. It's not a new discovery in the Potentially, case of Potentially, yes. Mm. Then, so what would happen or what would uh, cause a company to do another, another appraisal? Because in the first instance, Hess Corporation had done its appraisal for which we, we were told it discovered about 200 million barrels. Now, Aker went in there and discovered about 500, between 500 and 600 million barrels of oil. What is going on here? Well, it, it depends on many factors. It could be technology. Uh, note that technology in this field is very fast advancing, and uh, Norwegians are known to be uh, very prominent in this specific area, especially uh, offshore deep sea drilling. Mm. Um, the initial discovery was made a few years ago. Perhaps it could be an advanced technology that Ake has employed to be able to give us these new volumes. Also, remember, you, you're dependent on inputs for specific output. Mm. So uh, perhaps uh, it's a, a, the modeling, interpretation of the modeling that Ake used that has given us these new results. All right, so, so does it mean if a company takes over another company, in this, in this case, Ake taking over a uh, HES, it requires a company to do further appraisal, even though the appraisal has been done in the past? It's often done because you, when you buy something, you really want to really know understand what is in there. Is in there. Yes, mm. so that's what appraisal is for. You drill mm. to further understand the extent of the reservoir. Mm. The now, for the benefit of those of us who are not so much in tune with these technicalities, can you outline the value chain of the oil and gas production, you know, sector? Okay, thank you for that. Well, first of all, you acquire a block. Uh, we, we all know what's involved in the exactly. block acquisition. Yeah, yeah. you interact with government to acquire a block, and after a block acquisition, you you do an exploration. Uh, exploration involves uh, various steps. Uh, you may be lucky to have uh, existing seismic data. It okay. could be 2D, 3D, and the only way to be certain of of oil is to drill. Is to drill. So initially, you drill what we mm. call an exploratory well, okay. and that will enable you to make a find or discover the oil. Now, okay. once it's discovered, now you need to appraise the well to further understand in terms of quantity, viability, commerciality, commerciality etc. Mm. Mm -hmm. So once you've concluded on that, then you come with your plan of development, okay. often in, in collaboration with the authorities. And what does it entail, plan of development? Plan of development until putting up uh, the platform for production. Or, um, okay. Yeah, it involves a lot of soft sea installations, uh, the platform itself, um, getting up the oil from, from the reservoir to the surface, mm. uh, and also transportation. In some cases, uh, it could even involve the refining fit. <laughs> so your plan of development gives the details of how you intend to bring this to the surface, mm. and eventually uh, for production. So eventually you produce after the plan of development? But yes. When does decommissioning come in? Oh, when what is decommissioning? Well, decommissioning is after, after you, you're done with your production. Uh, the life cycle of, uh, of a, a, a reservoir uh, often varies between 20, 25, maximum 30 years. Mm. After 30 years, you've had so much uh, oil that uh, mm. uh, your yields may not compensate the, okay. the effort you put in. So then you want to decommission, you want to pull off. And that is where you uh, employ appropriate technology to, to mm. seal the world so that uh, mm. 
you don't encounter uh, spillages, etc. Okay. Interesting developments, uh, interesting education here. So yes. I, I believe you would want to be on the side of the minority, which says it has no, or government has not discovered or made any new discovery, but well, the existing discovery being appraised. Well, it's an interpretation issue. Uh, okay. When you discover something and you really don't understand what is there, uh, you need to do an appraiser. Right. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, an appraiser yeah. had to be done, and, and that's what was done. All right, so uh, very soon we'll, we'll call you again to know more about these technicalities of the oil and gas right. industry. But that's how we end the interview here. Prince Frempon is the CEO of the Ghana Oil Drilling Academy and Consultancy. Mm -hmm.